Hello everybody and welcome back to this TF-IDF tutorial. In this video we're going to pick up where we left off and begin by removing the duplicated words. So last video we calculated the term frequency of each of the words in the sentence and we ran into this little problem where for example with the we see that the occurs twice in this sentence and we we got that data here but then we see it again that it could occur twice. And we had the same problem here with cold appearing twice. And here it is again. And we don't like we don't need to see that twice. We only need to know that cold appears twice once. So we're going to do a little loop to get rid of those duplicates. And then we're going to calculate the uh, normalized term frequency. If I pull up the Wikipedia page here, the term frequency adjusted for document length. So we're going to take that count that raw count of term frequency and just divide it by the total number of words in that sentence. So let's begin. So let's, so I'm going to just make a comment here and go second, because this is the second thing we're going to do. We're going to remove duplicates. So let's start with that. And I'm going to use sort of a similar strategy as last time. I'm going to make another dictionary term frequency. Set that, initialize an empty dictionary, like so. And then I'm going to loop through by using a for loop. And this time I'm going to go with the range from zero to the length of documents. Because we, now the reason I'm doing this instead of enumerate is because we want to start pulling out each of the elements of the dictionary this time. So we're going to use this index here to do that. I think it'll make more sense when we maybe when we, when, when we see it here. So uh, let's pull out each element by let's just let me just show what I mean here. So let's print uh, dict dictionary of words and let's pull out I right the I index of that and then we should we should see each sentence. So let me comment out this other one so we don't get confused with what we're looking at and let's run this program and as you can see. Because um, we're looping through the length, uh, the the range from zero to the length of documents, we can see each of those elements in the dictionary of words dictionary, which is good. That's what we want to do. That's how we're going to access those sentences. But now what we want to really do is remove those duplicated words, right? So we see the the there. So how we're going to my kind of strategy that I'm going to use here is I'm going to make a list and basically append the you know each of these words to the list unless the word already exists if you know we'll start with the and we'll append it to the list this empty list so now that list only has the in it and then we're going to append the next word the and it's going to check does the already exist in that list if it does it won't append it and then we're going to have a new list without the duplicates so let's get started by initializing a new list that is empty and I'll call this list list of no duplicates right because it's going to be a list without duplicates and we'll initialize that as an empty list with square brackets and then what we're going to do <clears throat> is we want to loop through this list now right within the dictionary and that's why I had to uh, get the index with this for loop here first so we're going to do another loop to loop through this list so to do that we are going to for, and it's going to be the word frequency in the dictionary of words. Um, yes, there it is, dictionary of words. Perfect. Except we want again to grab that element there. So, for example, the zero element will grab this uh, this list. So this list will be here. And when we loop through it, we're going to loop through each of these sets of tuples right here. So uh, let's see. Actually, let's see if we can print that to just see if that's what's happening. So if we print word frequency now and we do this. OK, there we go. So you can see we've got the the universe has very many stars. So that's this first one right here. The, the universe has very many stars. And then it goes on to the next one. The galaxy contains many stars and so on. So we're successfully looping through each of the elements in this uh, dictionary here and it's just depending it on but ultimately we're going to want to re-append it to this dictionary uh, term frequency dictionary that doesn't have duplicates so 
let's get rid of that print statement now. And what we want to do is append to the list of no duplicates list. So dot append, we'll call it the append method, and we will append word frequency. All right, but oops, we don't want to just append it, right? Like I said, we want to do that only if the word frequency is not already in the list of no duplicates. There we go. So, and then now, of course, we have to indent this because that's how Python works. So we want to append that word frequency to this list only if it's not already there. Okay, that's great. So, and then what we want to do once we've done this is we want to set that new list to uh, this dictionary, to the element in this dictionary. So we're going to loop through all of this stuff. And we're going to add it to that list if it's the case. And then once we're done that, we're going to take the term frequency dictionary at this element, and we're going to set that equal to the list of no duplicates. And then what we're going to do once we've done that once, so we're going to loop through, and it's going to keep looping through and keep looping through. And then once it finishes, it's going to append that now list to this part, uh, to the zero index of this dictionary. And then it's going to go back to, you know, to the main loop and reset it back to an empty list and do it all over again for the next sentence. At least that's what I hope it's going to do. So let's print it out and see if that's what we get. So this is sort of the moment of truth. And let's run this program. Okay, so, well, this is good. I see the appears twice, but I don't see the a second time. So that looks good. The universe has very many stars. Good. And then at this index, this this the one index sentence didn't have any duplicates. So it was the third one here. The cold breeze of winter made it very cold outside. But because we removed the duplicates, we see cold appears twice, but it doesn't appear twice as tuples. Excellent. So we have succeeded in removing those duplicates with this loop. Awesome. So now what we can do is let's calculate that normalized term frequency. So I'm going to say third. Oh, do I, am I not on here for some reason? Let's go. Ahead. Yeah, there we go. Third, we are going to calculate uh, normalized term frequency, which is just dividing the term uh, by the total number of word terms in the document. So if we pull this up again, we're going to take that count, that raw count, and divide it by the number of words in the document in total. So we're going to use a very similar strategy again, just to try to understand this. I'm going to make another dictionary, and I'm going to call it normalized term frequency. I'm going to set that to an empty dictionary, and we're going to do some more loops. And this is actually going to be really similar to this uh, first loop here, except we're just going to do some division this time. So length of documents. Am I spelling that wrong? I am. Okay. And we're going to grab this sentence out of the dictionary. <clears throat> called term frequency. And then once we've got that, oh yes, we have to grab it from there. So that's going to be the, this first sentence right here, right? That's going to be this first sentence right there. Oops, I'm missing that right there. So that's going to grab that sentence. And then what we're going to do is we are going to get the length because we want to divide by that number. So we're going to get the length of the sentence. So length of sentence is going to equal to, we're going to call the length function, on sentence because we've got the sentence here which is this list here and we want to get the length of this list and that will be the number of words but see i've made a mistake here because we don't want to get it from the term frequency of no duplicates because that is not actually the correct number of words right so if, what i mean here is one two three four five six seven right there's seven words with this double the. But if I use this term frequency dictionary, 
I'm going to only get six because it has removed this word. So that would not be the total length of that document or sentence. So instead of using term frequency, we can use another dictionary, which is just the dictionary of words, which is everything, right? That's the one that has the duplicates in it, not remove before we remove anything. So that's the actual sentence we want. And let's print that out to make sure that we're actually getting the full length of each of the sentences. All right, so let's print that out. Great, so seven, five, and 10. Let's see if those are the lengths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect, so we've successfully got the length now, which is awesome. Now let's make a new list with the for the normalized term frequency so again we'll initialize a list so i'm going to call this list of normalized set it equal to an empty list and then we will do another nested loop and again we'll grab the word frequency out of in out of the um sorry out of the dictionary so let's grab that Let's grab that term frequency. There it is. Yep. And of course, I always seem to forget this. We got to grab the index because this is a dictionary. And then what we're going to do is grab, we're going to calculate the normalized frequency. So let's make a variable for that value. And we're going to grab the word frequency now. This is interesting because it's a tuple. We can access the first and second, or sorry, I should say the zero index and the one index. So the zero index in the tuple is the, and the one index in the tuple is two. So we wanna grab the two portion. That means we wanna grab the one index from this tuple. And we're gonna divide that by the total words in the sentence, which we just grabbed up here, the length of sentence. So I'm going to copy that and paste that down here. And that is our normalized frequency. Now let's store that back into a dictionary so we can see it in a similar manner as we see it down here. So in order to do that, we will append it to this empty list that we've made, list of normalized, that's what I called it, dot append. And we will append, we want, we want to append the normalized frequency, but we also still need the word so we know what word that frequency is associated with. So let's make another tuple. So this will be a list of tuples again. And again, we can grab the word frequency. And this time, instead of grabbing the one index, we want the zero index, which is the actual word. And what we just calculated, the normalized frequency. So this list will contain the word and the normalized frequency that we just calculated here in a tuple. Once we have this list, let's add that to this new dictionary up here. So we will just simply take that dictionary called normalized term frequency and at this index that it's at, we will give it the value of this list of normalized. And again, similar to before, once we've added it to this dictionary, you know, this inner loop will have finished. We'll go back to the main loop. And with the next sentence, we'll reset this list to null and then go through and add those new list of words to the dictionary. So let's see if that worked. Oh, did I just backspace a little bit too much? No, I don't think I did. And let's print the normalized term frequency and see if that actually worked or not. Okay, well, we definitely got a value here. So in order to validate this, we can do the calculation ourselves manually. So if I just grab the calculator out here. And so again, if we take a look at the Wikipedia document, term frequency adjusted for document length. So the count divided by the number of words in the document. So, so the count in this case, the appears twice and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two divided by seven, let's see what that is. 
So 0 0.285714, 0 0.285714. Okay, good. This is looking good. Uh, let's see. Which let's see. One. The universe appears once in this sentence. So if I clear this, one divided by seven. We're going to get 0 0.142857. 0 0.142857. That's great. So this looks like this is working. Uh, we have now successfully calculated and put this into a dictionary without the duplicated words, right? Without the coming up twice um, into this dictionary. And now we can use this to multiply with the inverse document frequency, which is what we ultimately will want to do. As you can see, to get TFIDF, TFIDF is equal to the term frequency multiplied by the inverse document frequency. So we've successfully got that first part of the equation. Um, and in the next videos, we will continue on with calculating inverse document frequency. So thank you so much with, for sticking with me. And if you're liking this content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.